Hello everybody, um, this is um, a tutorial on DAISY on how to import records from an Excel file. Um, so, there is a, um, in DAISY, in the info section, there is a little icon at the top right uh, that uh, allows allows you to go in the supervision area and from here you can see a, a label import from Excel so in this section uh, that you can accede to this section with a specific user ID so not everybody can have access to it uh, you can uh, select this uh, import from Excel area and uh, you see that this is the button that allow you to import uh, data from Excel. There are two methods. Methods. Um, this is the most recent one and the most, uh, let's say, easy way to import data from Excel. So in this section, I will explain to you how to use this file. Um, later on another section, I will go through on the method to import from Excel using the two uh, spreadsheets. So now I'm moving on the Excel file um, that has to uh, be organized, to be structured exactly like this file whose name is import page that you can download directly from the DAISY web page. Uh, so as you can see, it's a very simple file with several columns with the ID, the ZD, the data, uh, document data, description, uh, currency, um, and the budget item, uh, the counterpart, and so on. So it um, seems to be a bit complicated because there are several columns. Uh, what is important is that uh, you always need to keep the first, the heading, exactly the same like the file that you can download from the Excel. And you can add here below all the records that you want to import in this. To make the, um, uh, this operation uh, very simple is uh, I prepared a template file that you can also download from the DAISY web page that allows you to automatically build the file in the exactly in the structure that DAISY wants to receive. In the file that you can download, you, you have uh, mainly one page where you can, this is more uh, easy for you to understand is a is a very simple page where you can enter information to be uploaded in the disk so in the data section you can enter uh, the date description uh, the main inform major information it is a must you can see the star next to each uh, heading account so, so the account the counterpart the currency and the amount so in this case, we are about to import very little records. In this case, are just uh, six records. Um, so you can just easily enter here. I just do an example. Uh, let's say the third of May of twenty. Uh, the description of whatever I want to relate to the specific records. The account uh, that can be selected from the scroll menu bar, the counterpart, or you can also make a copy and paste in case you are uh, importing several records that you're taking from an external spreadsheet that may you may receive from a partner or from uh, somebody that is managing a cash account on a monthly basis. And again, here the currency, let's say, let's do an operation euro of 1,000 200. So here I can enter all the information that I want. According what I produce here, so according the information that I enter in this section, automatically I generate uh, the structure of 
uh, spreadsheets wanted to be uh, in the way Daisy want to be to have it. As you could see here is um, the list of registration of the six now seven registration that I put in here. You can see here you can clearly identify the registration that I put the fourth of May with my description with the amount in euro and the amount of one thousand two hundred and so. On. So what I have to do in a very simple way, I have just to select all the records that I want to import. In this case, only these seven records. So I just select this section, not the heading, um, until the last row used. I made just a copy. So I just copy all this information. And I go in the import page file, that is the file that will be uh, read by the DAISY, and I make a paste uh, value. So, of course, I do not paste the, the formulas, because in the, in the sheets, spreadsheets that I have here are just formulas. So I just need to make copy and paste values. So I block the values of these uh, spreadsheets. Um, that's it. I need to save the file. And in this moment, this file can be imported in this. One just small uh, arrangement is that before proceeding, it's good to uh, verify the alert that you can read here on these two columns, L and M. What they are, they are the alert that they tell me in case there is a mistake in the account used. A mistake, it means that there is an account not present in the chart of account of my DAISY. So in this example, I, I, put, I made a mistake. Their account 700333 is not in present in my DAISY chart of account. So as you could see, here is written alert. And here is also, I can't recognize the description related to this account. So I need to be careful on these operations. So in this case, I assume that the correct account is the 700203, or maybe select another one, 702010, 702010. And then you could see alert are not anymore present. So it means that uh, I'm ready to import all these records in my DAISY. How to make this section uh, work, they read information, these two columns, they are reading information from the this table, input chart of account. I can automatically update this section. If I go in my DAISY and then in chart of account, I export the, um, this page. And also here, I select the code and description, and then I copy and I paste in this yellow section the chart of account of my DAISY. So what happens is that whenever I have here my chart of account, this file is able to recognize in case there is a mistake in this page, in this in this cell. So I just do again my my stupid example. So for example, if I put here a wrong code that is not re recognized by the DAISY, the file is already telling me, be careful, this is not a, a, a code that you can use. So I just uh, fix it back with a code, with the proper code I want to use. So the last piece of information I need to tell you is that you have to be careful about the number of ID to be imported. So in this case, you have to put the last ID available in your data. So I go in my DAISY, I see that the last ID, I just sort them per ID, I see that the last ID is 20095. Consequently, I, I can close this one, I put here 20906. So just to avoid to have an uh, overriding of information. So I will import consequently this, um, this information in my DAISY. I just go on the final step. So I just select again. Now I correct also the mistake. All the section I copied, I paste it in the proper file whose name is import page. I save it as the value 
and a set the file. Once the file is saved, what I need to do is just to put the file in the same folder where is my daisy. So what happens is that daisy is looking inside of the same folder, a file whose name is import page. So now I'm ready to uh, import my information. If I go in, uh, uh, in here, in the hidden section, import from Excel, and I click this button. Proceed. Now uh, the file is being imported. It's also true that in this operation, the DAISY make a general recheck of all the records. Uh, it helps also to, to verify in case there are previous mistakes. And uh, so it may take uh, I don't know, a few seconds, maybe one minute, to to be sure that also the previous records are correct. Records imported, and we can just go in prima nota, and we can see that this is my last record imported. If you remember, there was a record in 1200 with this strange description was uh, must last my record that's it